we actually will sit down with the facility and go through the permit to make sure that they understand the requirements of their permit and that they know exactly what is in it and what their obligations are in their permit is something that we offer not just in the air program but under all of the the permit programs that we have prior to the public hearing the ndee held a public information session from 4 to 5 p.m about the permitting action where agency staff were available to answer questions stationary sources such as the ones proposed by sustainable beef llc whose potential emissions of particulate matter carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides and volatile organic compounds above certain thresholds are required to obtain an air quality construction permit i just my concern is and then i'll stop rambling about it is the environmental danger that norplatt is going to be faced with now it has nothing to do with jobs it has everything to do with our crystal clear clean award-winning drinking water being pumped into a slaughterhouse and then exited into the South Platte. Um, I just think the technology has improved so much through these years that what they are offering to do and is being considered under the permit is going to uh, contribute to a good quality of air here in the North Platte area. And uh, I want to comment too that I support this permit being issued and I support this operation, this facility. So thank you. The Goldens live about a fourth of a mile away from the project. I've got articles here saying that um, they can't guarantee the smell within a half mile, which means that the Goldens have a right to peaceful en environment of their property. And it's just not the Goldens, there's other uh, Tom Goldens, and then there's a farmer there. And uh, so I think there's a lawsuit right there. Rules um, and their, their compelling comments were that, you know, we're, we're local ranchers and farmers or regional local, uh, regional uh, ranchers. Uh, we live here, this is our community. We want our kids and our grandkids and uh, future generations to be able to, to live here. Uh, this is our friends and our neighbors and we wanna do it the right way. We know that uh, we have to live with whatever is constructed and the way that the facility is operated and they assured us from day one that that would occur. Uh, they've been a, uh, a pleasure to work with throughout the process. They've been very sincere. Uh, we went through um, 16 different public hearings and or public meetings through an 18 month period of time uh, through five different uh, city uh, governmental agencies. In an investigative report published in the New York Times, Ohio resident Robert Burnell discussed the permanent brain damage that he suffered when one of these industries was built near his home. It's like I have a 2.1 gigahertz body with a 75 megahertz mind, he said. I felt like collateral damage. When Thornell's wife was also diagnosed with brain damage, the couple was forced to move away from their home in order to prevent further deterioration of their health. Living near one of these industries can be catastrophic for pregnant women. For example, the CDC believes that manure from one of these industries seeps into the groundwater of a small Indiana town and caused at least seven miscarriages. Um, I do think that there should be more posts from the EPA, from the MPE, somehow to reach out to the community to let us know that we can address our areas of concern. Um, you know, it's always been about the big guys and I just feel like we've kind of just been shuffled under the table with these concerns. Um, I wish more of the community would have showed up today, but I do appreciate your time and thank you for holding this event.